And there we go, to top 10 camera hacks in 100 seconds or less. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? I hope you're having a good day. So as you would have seen in the time lapse I took this morning, it was actually crazy foggy outside and it was looking really, really cold and shitty, but then it's actually cleared up and it's like a beautiful day today. It's it's very sunny and overexposed outside. Anyway, so my friend William, who does music, like he releases his own songs on SoundCloud and stuff. Not like a SoundCloud rapper, but like other music. I don't know, like he's, he's I don't really know what his new music sounds like. He hasn't, hasn't released it yet, obviously. He has asked me to take some photos with him for his album art for the album that he's gonna be releasing in, I assume like a few weeks time, a few months time. I don't know, I actually have no idea. I haven't asked him, but we thought we'd make the most of the beautiful weather outside and just get a photo shoot done where we can hopefully get something that he can use for the album art. But yeah, he's just texted me saying that he was going to come around in a few minutes time and we're going to head out and that would be him right now. Yeah, so he just said that he's on his way again, which means I'm going to have to get ready and we're going to head out and just try to find somewhere to take some photos. And who knows, we might even get a bit more creative and do some, some crazy shit as well with the photos. I don't know. I might just try and get him to help me out with some other photos just for my Instagram and my, you know, my own shit. Before I do anything though, I'm gonna get out of this salmon colored jumper because I don't really want light bouncing off that and getting into the photo because that's just gonna be painful. So I'll just give you a quick, uh, ah, there we go, that's better. Bruh, the absolute man of the hour. <laughs> oh, my dogs love it. Sorry. Look at this absolute light diffuser setup. Is that like washed out or is it? No, that's actually, that's pretty, actually nice. <laughs> <laughs> pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's pretty standard. I don't know. It's white. That's all I need. Man, the other day you were doing some work for a, literally like a television company. Now you're helping a guy make a sound cloud album. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's alright. It's good. <laughs> don't mind this clear water bottle cut in half. It's a prop. Wait, what's it for? It's for just like some other photos I'm gonna try and do. Oh yeah. There's a bit of a spoiler talk there. That's cool. Alright, <laughs> it's alright. You can turn back up your copyrighted music and I'll film some B roll. None of that audio was recorded at all. I didn't have the mic on. Which audio? Uh, the audio of me saying, wow, what a photo location, and uh. look at that light diffuser, but that's alright. They heard it now. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, that's not it. Hey, we could use that, and then I could just use this to like angle the light back up at you. Gonna leave a nice clean pattern just all over you. <laughs> All right, I'll figure it out. I don't know, it's just a weird concept for me. You heard it here. There we go. That was on video. Well, <laughs> Easy work. I don't mind. And there we go, it's a top 10 camera hacks in 100 seconds or less. <laughs> Here's one of them, <laughs> just <laughs> manually hold it on there while you're taking the photo. Now, what we've hit him with is the, uh, I can use this as like a little speed edit. Cause I completely forgot that I was recording this as well. Yeah. Um. Here is a mock-up of the album art. Mock-up. Mock-up, <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's not, that's not gonna be too far different from what I'm planning to do, and that's kind of the idea. This was just for the purpose of the video, because I'm gonna give Will all the files and then let him do the thing. But you know, I wanted to at least show what it might look like, at least. Yeah, see, yeah, like, down the bottom right, we'd have the text. <laughs> Stephen Hawking <laughs> flying past. Yeah, maybe not that far. <laughs> so we finished a little speed edit of the album art for Will, but the actual album art will obviously look a lot better than that, because he's gonna put a lot more time into it than I did just then. That was only like a, a quick 15 minute job of me messing around and seeing what we could do, giving him some ideas and whatever. But, um, there's this photographer called like Jordi Kolatic. I don't know if I'm butchering that name at all or not, but he is like, he's got a pretty big following and he's known for his creative, just really weird ideas. He does like a lot of fire stuff and just a lot of similar to the, um, similar to David Wallace shoots where he's just, you know, levitation stuff, stuff like that. He does this one thing where he gets a book and he holds it up. So I have, I have a book here. He basically gets someone to hold it like this or like he holds it down or like the model holds it down towards the camera 
and then they get some alphabet spaghetti and it's like burnt so that the letters look black and it like they drop it onto the book at the same time as they, they take the photo and then it looks like the letters are coming out of the book and it's sick and I really want to try and do that as well. So I just messaged Will again telling him like, look, you want to give it a go? Like <laughs> take some photos with some burnt spaghetti and, and he said he was down. So we're going to try and cook some spaghetti, I guess, in the pan to burn it and then throw it at a book and then get some cool photos. So without any further ado, let's head out. So all we could get was the uh, soup pasta, which has stars and hearts and letters in it. So we're going to have to filter through and like manually pick out just the letters, which is going to be just disgusting. It's four o'clock. We've probably got a few hours of sunlight left. My camera is on like 20 minutes of battery. So I'm going to chuck it on charge while we're doing that, while we're just filtering through pasta. But well, after 20 minutes of work, we are... Uh, we picked out about a handful of letters and we set fire to them in the pan, basically. I just covered them in cooking oil, burnt them, and now the whole house smells like fire and just burnt carbohydrates. We're going to make do while we still got daylight, head off to the spot that I had in mind and take this photo. Hopefully it works after all this because, you know, that's a dollar eighty worth of pasta as well as my house just stinking. Let's get a move on. Good out for a view. <laughs> Didn't even come here for the view, the view we came here for the, the sunlight, but... Is the mic on? <laughs> the view is gorgeous, the mic is on at this time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fire a few test shots, and of course, because I only have one camera, I won't be able to film while doing that, so... The photo is more important right now, unfortunately. Let's get this shit set up. Right, let's just do one more for the video. Oh, yuck, dude, it's so greasy. <laughs> no, hang on, hold it down a little bit lower. A little bit lower. There you go. Wet. That one was just for the video. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, my hands are so greasy. This is disgusting. So that was how we, uh, that was the process behind that one. Just dropping the alphabet spaghetti from a height and then slapping it around with the book and hopefully one of them was, you know, in frame and stuff. Yeah, dude, my hands are actually covered in grease. Like, it's gross. Because of what I cooked them in before when I, like, sprayed all the pasta down with, um, cooking oil, my hands are oily as hell. So my camera's, like, sweaty and greasy. <laughs> Worth it for the view as well, though, let's be real. That required so much more effort to begin with than it was probably worth. I'm gonna have to do some hardcore photoshopping on that to actually get all the letters into the, the right thing, but you know. So, I've had a quick break, I've had dinner, I've had a shower just to clean up after that, uh, that greasy mess that these letters made. So I've had a look through some of the photos that I took and probably about two of them are good. So, I've edited two of them already. We've got this one here, which I'm not, like it's not bad, I got rid of that little smudge up there and I chucked a, uh, chucked an edit on that just to bring out the, the book more and make it look a bit older, you know. This one I'm a bit happier with, I think, because there's like less letters as well, but it's a bit more spread out and they look a bit more natural. They're not like clumped everywhere. They're sort of flying around. I think one of the problems that I have though is that my shutter speed was just too slow and that's why these ones, oh, okay, what am I doing? These ones here are like fully blurry, which I'm, yeah, like it doesn't look great. These ones on the bottom look cool. Like I, if they were all like this, I'd be chuffed, but they're sadly not. So what can you do? You know, it's, it's another learning experience, I guess. It probably wasn't worth all the hassle of frying like alphabet spaghetti in the pan and then getting grease all over my hands and all over the camera and oh well I mean it was fun it was still a good time I can I'll definitely try it again one day hopefully get it better but I'm gonna chuck one of these up on my Instagram right now be sure to give that a follow link is in the description below I'll also put a link in for my friend William SoundCloud so go check out the music hopefully he posts that new album soon once he's figured out what he's doing with the album and whatever other than that thank you once again for watching I hope you've enjoyed be sure to subscribe drop a like, whatever, and I'll see you in the next one.